everyone, in this video, we're going to learn how we can hide the list of measure value options. Over here, what we have is this line chart over here. This has been set up to show the measure values as each of these different lines. And the measure name has been added as a color on this mark card. What we see here is a profit and sales. And how we can add in the different measure values over here is by making use of this measure name filter that we have. If we show this filter over here, we can see the options of measure values available. So now let's say if we click on discount, it will be added as another line. We click on expense, it will be added as another line. So this works fine, but it is very ugly because we have all these other different measure names over here, which might not make sense to the users and we do not want them to have the options to select all these other fields over here. To resolve this problem, it is quite simple. We are going to the list of measure values over here and we just need to hide them. So for example, here we have a count of order. To hide this, we just need to go to our measure value over here and right click on this and select hide. Now you will see that this has been grayed out. Now let's refresh this filter list. And you'll see that the order count has been removed. It does not appear here as an option. So if we go on to say, for example, year to date calculated few here, if we right click on this, we'll see that this hide option is disabled. So why is this the case? It's because this field has been used in the other worksheets over here. So that's why we cannot hide any fields that are being in used. So to resolve this problem, what we are going to do is to set it up differently. So we are going to have to duplicate the data source. So if we click on this and we click on duplicate, this will create a copy of the data source. And now we have to create a brand new chart based on this copy of data source. So let's set it all up again. So what we want is our measure values here and we want the measure names on the color we want this to be a line chart and we want our order date now that this has been set up we only want to keep the measure values that we want to display to the users to select so what we want is we only want the expense the profit and the sales and the rest, we want to hide it. So what I'm doing here is that I'm holding on to control and select all of this. Okay, so now let's take a look at the refresh filter list. And there we have, we have only the options that we want to show the users. The other method that we want to use the parameter to select the options that we want is for a different use case. So in this case, we can only work with one line chart over here. We cannot select the measure values that we want to add into this line chart. This has been demonstrated in one of the previous video that we have, where we learn how we can use parameter to switch between two different chart types and i want to recap on how we can do this on the measure value so over here we have a matrix parameter and this line chart has been set up based on this matrix so if we select profit the line chart will change to profit select quantity this will change to quantity so let's go through on how this has been done we can go to the worksheet over here you will see that on this row there is a field called matrix selected so this is a calculated field based on the parameter matrix this has a case condition based on on this parameter when this parameter is sales it will select sales when it is discount it will select discount to make this work we need to set up with the least of measured values that we want to display and then we input all the different values that we want to show based on the selected parameter and now let's take a look at how this parameter is set up so we go to this parameter here 
you will see that there is a list of value where we can input. So this will correspond to our calculated field where we select the measure values based on this selected parameter values. And with that, we can then use this parameter to change the measure values that we want to show. If you like this, do remember to like, share and subscribe to support this channel.